Good morning, everybody. It's me, Dana. I uh, woke up feeling inspired to paint. So I grabbed a fresh canvas and uh, I've been painting for a little while yet. And I thought I'd turn the camera on and um, just share, share my inspiration, my creative time. So when I started painting, I never, ever <laughs> have a plan. I just jump right in. I choose a color and I start putting it on the canvas. And then I'm just inspired to pull it, move it, add more color to it, add another layer, throw on some more here, there, everywhere. There's really no set direction or plan. I never know from one minute to the next what's going to come onto this canvas. So the freedom of doing an abstract is you can't get it wrong if you didn't have a plan. If you have no expectations, then everything it's just a pleasant surprise. So I didn't add more paint, I just added some water to my brush. Because I want to pull this color. When I started to paint this one, uh, the energy and the thought and the feeling that I was the wanting to put into and express into this painting was freedom. Freedom from fear. Fearless. Fun. Joy. Freedom to create. Freedom to be. Freedom to express one's true self, one's gifts, one's knowings, one's magic. So that was the energy, the intention, the feeling I was putting out and desiring to express onto the canvas this morning. A little bit more water on my brush. Pull this through a little bit. So sometimes um, <clears throat> I will finish a session, like just walk away from the painting for a while. And um, I'm not quite sure if it's finished or not. Sometimes I'll hang it on the wall. And I have been known to take a painting off the wall that's been up there for a few weeks or a few months and just have an overwhelming desire to add another layer to it and completely change the painting. Um, 
sometimes I miss what it looked like before, but as soon as the new layer is put on and you see a new magical dimension come to life, um, you forget all about what it looked like before. Sometimes I take uh, photos of the different stages. I never know what's going to come on next. It's kind of like listening to your inner, inner guidance, your intuition, your gut instincts. You just have a feeling or a sense or a desire for a certain color, right? It was um, earlier when I was put on this uh, layer of green, and um, quite often I'll paint in subdued light, uh, so I'm not really seeing exactly what I'm creating until afterwards uh, when I turn the light on. So in a way, I kind of paint in the dark. <laughs> so. When I flick on the light, it's just a whole different dimension, right? You start to become a little more, um, I don't know, judgmental sometimes under the bright light. When I'm uh, painting in subdued light, there's more freedom because I don't, I'm not really exactly seeing where everything is going. And I rely more on my intuition and my feeling, my sense of just how I want it to feel. So quite often I'll just be pulling a color through to enhance the other colors. And that's how I think of it, I like the colors to dance together and to show each other off. And that's how I feel. We're all here to accentuate each other and promote each other and help the world see how magical we are when we work together. Because, wow. We're magical, magical beings. And when we work together, <laughs> the sky isn't even a limit. <laughs> when we share and acknowledge each other's beauty, see, that's a key ingredient, is to acknowledge when another person shares themselves. Acknowledge that you heard it, that you've seen it, and that you accept it as is. When someone shares an idea with you, it doesn't matter if you get it or not. At least listen with your heart and say, wow, that's, that's interesting. I would have never ever thought of or conceived of anything like that. So thanks for stretching my thoughts and beliefs and abilities to see things in a brand new way. <clears throat> That's neat, experiencing the way you look at things. Thank you for sharing. See, now if you heard that every time you shared an idea or every once in a while when you shared an idea, wouldn't you be more encouraged to be happily being yourself? <laughs> That's how I look at the world. <sighs> I'm really uh, usually very hesitant. I don't usually use black, but today it was just calling for that dimension. So I think I'm going to put on a smidge more here.
Okay, <clears throat> gonna stop for a minute. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this uh, in short little segments because it's easier to upload the videos if it's a short video. <clears throat> Otherwise, I can take a few hours. It's like takes 20 minutes to make the video and takes four hours to get it up and on the internet and then if you want to edit it or anything. So sometimes the little video can end up being a day-long adventure. So that's why the people who are on YouTube really appreciate it when you click the like button or when you subscribe to their channel. Because the more subscribers you have, um, the more your videos get out there to more people. So by, by clicking subscribe and like or commenting, you help me reach more people. So that in itself is a huge gift to me. If yeah, I didn't know that. I am happy to share that information. It, it really makes one feel wonderful when you get a positive uh, feedback on a video, you know, because you've taken your personal time to share something that, you know, you're passionate about. And um, when somebody gives you some beautiful feedback on that and let you know that they appreciated your effort and what you do that has a huge ripple effect folks I mean I had zero confidence in my gifts as far as um, giving readings and doing things like that so my intuition, my higher self, my inner wise guide told me to go on YouTube, start a channel, and offer to do free readings. I mean, it'd be strangers out there you'd be giving readings for, and, you know, they don't know you, you don't know them. Get some confirmation, some feedback, find out if you really do know how to tune in to somebody like these crazy thoughts you're having say you can okay get some evidence for that mind of yours it always needs evidence doesn't it the mind so I'm really um, loving the the dimensions that are being created here Just like us, we have so many layers and dimensions to us, right? And it's very rare that we show those, all of our dimensions and depths to anybody because any sign of rejection we shut down. <laughs> right? If I put this out there and you reject that or attack it, well, I'm not inspired to share more. <laughs> Everybody on this planet is seeking acknowledgement and acceptance. So the more you give of that, the more likely you are to receive. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit like some blue would look nice in here. Just to dance off there.
off the other colors. I like the movement, the energy, the freedom of flow in this painting. It's like we're like diamonds, we sparkle. We're made of water, right? 70% water, 70% water. Wow. Are you flexible and free-flowing like a beautiful, beautiful stream? Exploring new places and things? Or have you gotten stiff and unflexible and cold and harsh and become like an iceberg? Hmm? Stuck in your head, or way up north, whatever you want to call it. We're water babies, and your feelings and thoughts and emotions will manifest in your body. So if you're stiff and rigid, and crack and break, and feeling brittle and sharp and in pain, then you've got some rigid thoughts and beliefs that you need to <laughs> alter in some way. Warm them up a bit. Let go of some rigidity if you want to feel better. That is proven effective. Mind over matter, right? Well, how warm, loving, flowing, flexible are your thoughts and beliefs on things. And some of them you were forced to take in. You didn't even get a say. You know? Well, you're not a child anymore. You can question things and if they're not making you feel well, maybe you need to question them. Maybe you need to be wise enough to question things that bring you rigidity and discomfort and disease. Go with the flow. Learn how to have a little more freedom and <sighs> breathing room. <clears throat> some space. Bust out of some of those old beliefs and shine. Shine, shine, shine. All right. I think we'll take another break here. Make sure this video doesn't get too long. <laughs> okay, welcome back. I'm feeling uh, like I could use a little bit of Red up here. And that's going to blend in nice. Like so. usually too chatty when I paint because I'm by myself so <clears throat> if you can't hear me don't worry I'm just kind of mumbling to myself which is a stretch I don't usually talk when I'm painting is what I was saying I, I put a color on, but then I pull it around. And if it's a 
It feels too strong then. I pull in some more water. So no, no one color should overpower. I like them to dance. I really like them to dance. And that's my thoughts and my feelings when I am painting. So I believe that energy comes out onto the canvas. I don't paint when I'm angry. I really have no inspiration to pick up the brush and be creative when I'm angry. If I'm angry or frustrated or anything, I go out for a walk. That's what I do. I go ask Mother Nature and the universe to give me some answers or some release or some peace or all of the above. And when asking for guidance, I always like to say what is for the greatest and highest good of all, for all involved. I mean, how can you go wrong that way, right? So you're not being selfish or thoughtless. You're, you're thinking of all involved, right? It's like bring some resolutions and some peace, some answers some ideas, some inspiration that is for the greatest good of all involved. And when you do that, you'd be amazed how much more you open yourself up to different ideas, inspirations, potentials, realities, people, places, things. So as they say, the key is to Asking better questions to surrendering to the point to surrendering, you know, to the point you're actually asking for assistance, right? Their universe. I'm not sure what to do next. Give me some guidance. That's what they mean by surrender. I give up. I can't figure this out all by myself. I need some help. <laughs> I'm really liking how these colors are dancing together this morning. So I just think a little short time ago, this was just a bare naked white canvas with some energy and some inspiration. We created something. Now can you imagine if you were this tiny and you could, you were not solid, you were just a wisp of energy and you could in, dance into this painting. And well, that's a form of meditation. Expanding one's imagination. So I'm adding a touch of green here because it felt like it needed some green in a few pieces. And green dances nice off of the other colors. See, it doesn't take over. It just shows off the others. We don't want to take over. No, we just want to come in and Help show off some of that stuff that's already going on. Enhance the dance. That's what we do. We enhance the dance. Got any purple left here? Ooh, yeah. That's pretty. Nice. Nice enhancement. <laughs> Every color you add should enhance. Every time you come into somebody's world, you should be enhancing it, right? I believe a person should always be better off for having known me. You should never leave anyone worse off than they were before they met you. I'm gonna stop again. Don't want to get the videos too long.